today we're at the Leeds Golf Centre. Uh, we're continuing on with the MGA and Love Golf uh, Women's Taster Series. Um, and what's really special about today is that the Leeds Golf Centre is actually owned by a Muslim family who have uh, run the Park Lane Foundation. So uh, really excited to be here. One of our uh, main objectives, our main aims through both the Foundation and the Golf Centre is to make it as inclusive as we possibly can. Our overarching objective is to make Leeds Golf Centre the most inclusive golf club in the whole of the country and that's a big part of what we're doing here today. I came with um, some friends, uh, some close friends and her daughters. I came with my sisters, I came with my nieces. Never expected to be able to actually hit the ball and the fact that I was able to hit it quite well at one point um, showed Actually, there is some, some ability there, so I shall certainly be trying to uh, get back on the golf course again. The fresh air, you know, that's great to be out in the fresh air. That's the best bit about it. Uh, the second thing is just being with the group of um, individuals as well, and the fact that it's not just the sport, it's about the people you're with as well. And the fact that actually it's a, a game that you can develop over time as well. Uh, you know, you, you can come in at any level. Uh, you can play to your ability, and hopefully you'll improve over time. I really didn't know what we were going to do today but when we started everyone was kind of rolling the ball on the floor some were going backwards to the sides and then as everyone improved it was really inspiring to see how when we had a little bit of coaching on how to hit the ball properly to see it go in the air and then the putting when we got much better I'm definitely going to be taking up golf in the future this has been a great starting point and it's been really fun I've met a lot of new women today that I wouldn't have ordinarily met on a day-to-day -day coaching basis and my instant reaction was it was amazing my passion is definitely getting more women into the game of golf and um, hopefully we can build a community where they feel relaxed and comfortable and encourage each other to hopefully take this sport on and go further with it. But it was a real pleasure today to see the women going from within the first couple of minutes not being able to hit a golf ball to being out on the par three course, giving them that experience of proper golf and them high-fiving the way all the way around. And I think what summed it up today is that there was a lady who came in, looked around and thought, my daughter would love this. And she said to me, can I go get her? I said, of course you can. She's got in a car, she's gone 10 minutes up the road. Not only she brought one daughter, she brought both of her daughters to say, listen, you've got to come and try this. And they came and they had the time of their life. They've even signed up to go back and now play this as a family. And I think that sums up what this experience is about. It doesn't matter what age, race, colour, gender you are. The game itself doesn't discriminate. And all we're trying to do is make it open and available to anyone and everyone. We can't wait to see uh, how many other clubs will open their doors and where else we'll take this. We've got the resource available here to actually tackle s some of the issues that we've got in society around, around cohesion, around collaboration, around integration, as it's called, um, by using golf and just the salubrious surroundings we've got. And if we can use that to bring people together, people who traditionally and normally may not come together at something as wonderful as the facilities here, that's a great thing to, uh, to do, surely.